This week, we highlight another life well lived. On April 23, 2007, 75-year-old Barbara Hillary completed her long trek to the North Pole and made history as she stood on top of the world. That day, Barbara became the first African-American woman ever to reach the North Pole, and she wasn't finished there. Less than four years later, at 79 years old, Barbara made history again when she reached the South Pole. Barbara's life journey began in Depression-era Harlem, where her mother raised two girls alone while working as a housekeeper after her husband died. Encouraged by her mom that education was the way out, Barbara graduated college, earned a master's, and became a nurse, her profession, for more than 50 years. In retirement, she traveled to Canada, where she gained an appreciation for wildlife and the northern outdoors. It was there Barbara decided she would become the first African-American woman to set foot at the North Pole. Among the challenges, she had never skied, which she'd need to do to reach her destination. Her breathing capacity was limited by surgery for lung cancer a decade earlier, and she didn't have the money she'd need to get there. But Barbara was undeterred. She learned cross-country skiing, she hired a personal trainer, and she raised $25,000 in donations. On that April day in 2007, a helicopter dropped Barbara within skiing distance of the North Pole. She told the New Yorker of the moment she arrived, I have never experienced such sheer joy and excitement. She dedicated the historic achievement to her mother. Barbara highlighted that lifelong maternal inspiration during the commencement address at her alma mater, the new school, two years ago. My mother said, if you want something in this world, get up off your ass and work for it. Barbara Hillary, who worked her way from poverty to the top of the world, died last Saturday in Queens, New York. She was 88 years old.